Welcome to High School Football Game Night. Presented by Scenic Cable Network and Production. Now, here's tonight's game. Hello and welcome to High School Football tonight. We're at Rip Hughes Stadium Wild Field where the Dothan Tigers are hosting the Warriors from Russell County. I'm Mick Kirk along with George Willett. And George, tell me what's happening tonight. Uh, Mitt, we got an area matchup here between the Dothan, uh, Dothan High Tigers and the Russell County Indians. And uh, I think this is going to be a very competitive game. Um, Russell County has not won a game yet this year, and Dothan has won one game. So both, both teams have a chance tonight to really do themselves a favor and get an area win and uh, get one step closer to the playoffs. And this is definitely an important game for the Tigers and the uh, Russell County Warriors. We're at Rip Hughes Stadium, and uh, I tell you what, it's still warm. We're here in the middle of September, and uh, the temperature still is in the 90s. Yeah, it's been pretty muggy out, and I'll tell you, August was nice and cool, but September's been hot, so it's like the months flip-flopped on us. So Dothan will be receiving... As we're set to begin the game. So, George, what can we expect tonight? You've had the opportunity to see the Tigers play this year. What do you, what do you think their strengths are? Well, you know, uh, Dossie, their quarterback, has got some speed, and they also have some speed at running back, too. So I think that's what you need to utilize is try to get those guys outside the tackles and uh, into open space and see if they can, you know, spread the field a little bit, Use you know, get the defense moving. Dothan takes it and advances it out across the 45 to about the 46-yard line, so they'll have great starting field position for the Tigers of Dothan. First and 10 from the 46. So they are starting almost at midfield. Adam Dawson is the quarterback for the Tigers. Yeah, and I think a player we need to watch on offense tonight, too, is Ty, uh, Tiberius Webb. He uh, had a really nice game a few weeks ago when we got to see him play, and I think he's going to have a nice game tonight. There's a pitch and an outstanding run that time from uh, Webb, and he's up near a first down. Yeah, his first touch of the game, he gets close to – 10 yards right there, so it's good to get him going early. It's not exactly 10 yards, so it's a first and 10 for the Tigers as they move the ball into Warrior territory. You know, I think one thing Dothan needs to do tonight, too, is they have a pretty big roster in comparison to Russell County, so I think if you go up-tempo, try to get those guys, you try to get the defense on their heels and get tired, can do you a lot of favors later on in the game. And the ball off to Webb again, and he finds some running room, and he's hit, but he's going to be dragged down from behind at the 20-yard line for another big game. That was a 24-yard game. Right there, you know, they got the ball outside on the tackle, got behind his receivers, picked up a couple nice blocks, and had an open field right there, and now they're inside the red zone here, you know, looking to score early on in this game, too. One thing we've seen from Dothan all year, they have really good speed outside. That's right. They give it away up again, and he goes to the right side. and He's got a block out there on the outside, too. He's going to score. Nice. And Webb takes it in from 20 yards out. So Dothan, one, two, three, end zone. And I couldn't see the number out there for that wide receiver, but he really set the edge right there for Webb. You know, there was an isolated defender out there. He was able to engage on him and uh, just pushed him all the way to the end zone and just cleared a lane right there for Webb. Nice touchdown. So Dothan scores on their first possession of the game on the, on the legs of Webb. Extra point attempt. It's good. The kicker is Justin Bernard. So Dothan goes up 7-0 with 
with 10.55 left in the opening quarter. So Dothan puts together a drive, a 54-yard drive in a minute and five seconds. That's pretty efficient. That is pretty efficient. I think they ran about three plays right there and got them all the way to the end zone on the legs of Webb. So. Kickoff and is taken at the 32-yard line. So Russell County will be starting at their own 32, and we'll see what they can do tonight. Quarterback is number seven, Villanueva. They only have a 27-man roster, so they are a small team. Especially for 6A. First and 10 from the 32-yard line. Hand off and met at the line of scrimmage by a host of Tigers. There was Hartwell on the carry. So a loss of one, second, and 11. Tigers nice. did a good job of plugging that hole. They really did. They, you know, got off the ball really quick right there and got around those offensive linemen, stuffed them in the backfield. So got to be happy if you're Coach White here for the start of this game. Second and 11. Quarterback runs forward, and he gets back to the original line of scrimmage. That's a nice tackle right there by number 26, Catavius Reeves. Good open field tackle right there. Villa DeVoe is the quarterback. Number four. Boy, I tell you what, these numbers aren't quite right here. No, they're not. And we apologize for that, and we talk about it every game, how difficult it is to get correct rosters. We make do, though. Number four has the ball, and wow, he's got some running room, and he's dragged down in Delton territory at the 45-yard line. Yeah, that was a nice run right there. You know, it was a broken play. Dothan High did a good job getting pressure, but he was just able to squirm out of that, you know, out of the pressure, got into the open field, and was able to get to the next level. And here they're on the Dothan High side of the field. And we'll see if we can get an updated roster here. George, if you'll kind of take over things, and I'll look and see if I can find us an updated roster. All right. So Russell County's going to have first and ten here on – Looks to be the 44-yard line. The shotgun sent a man in motion. Sweeps around to number seven. Fumbles the ball, but I think Russell County was able to fall on it. That was a Xavier Lockley on the carry. Tristan Casey on the tackle. So it's going to be second and one here for the Warriors. Nothing high in a 3-4 set. Hands off to Lock, Lockley again. And he's going to have the first down and take it down to about the 25-yard line. I tell you, uh, Russell County is coming out there really – Going at it. This, this drive started on their own 32-yard line. They've advanced it down to the Dothan 25. Yeah, you know, Dothan did a good job of forcing a third and 10, but, you know, credit Villanueva there of getting outside the pocket and able to pick up a big, big gain on third down and push it into the Dothan High territory and keep this drive alive. Takes the snap and hands it off to Lockley. But there's going to be a flag down. Close to the line of scrimmage, so I think we're going to have a hold here, Mitt. It looks like it. It is. It's against the Warriors. Mm -hmm. 
still trying to find us a roster. George. <laughs> and we, we talk about it every game about it would be nice if the schools would put correct and updated rosters online. Yeah, you know, with technology these days, you wouldn't think it would be that difficult and that much of an issue, but seems to be. I think so far Park Crossing has uh, taken the cake on having the most updated roster on Max Prep, so. So now it's going to be third and 20 here. Or, I'm sorry, first and 20. Sends a man in motion, takes a snap, hands it off again. But this time he's going to be stuffed at the line by about three Dothan High defenders right there. So that was a nice job there on first down. Going to set up a second and long here with 7.38 left to go here in the first quarter. You know, the defense has been on the field for quite a quite a little while right now. They're going to get tired, so they need to do themselves some favor and, you know, get two stops right here and either force a field goal attempt or a punt. Got about nine guys in the box. So quarterback keeper takes it up the middle. It's going to be stopped around the original line of scrimmage. Number 32 on the tackle there. And that is Don McLeod. So it's going to be third and 11 here for the Warriors. So a very big down here for Dothan High. First down will put the Warriors in the red zone. So I think we're going to have a Russell County timeout, and we do. So with 6.25 left here in the opening quarter, we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back on the Scenic Sports Network. So it's the third and 11 for the Warriors. They hand it off to number seven, and he fights forward for a couple of yards. It's going to be a fourth down. Good stand right there on third and long by the Dothan High defense. And we'll see. I th well, I think they're going to punt it. Oh, go for it. The choice is theirs. Yeah, so <laughs> on the opening kickoff, it didn't look like they the, the special teams would be a strong suit. So, might as well here. Fourth and nine. Quarterback drops back. He rolls. Goes deep. In the end zone. Wide open and end zone. Touchdown. That's a nice play there by number four, Villanueva. I mean, on the, on the run right there, going to the right side. Threw across his body, and, man, number 11 for Russell County. Jaquan Pritchett was wide open, and uh, just a nice little pitch and catch right there by the Warriors. So I think uh, Dothan was kind of taking them lightly, you know, but these guys uh, come out, and they're ready to play. Yeah, you know, Dothan's done a good job on first and second down, but they're really shooting themselves in the foot on third and now fourth down, you know, where you really need to – grind it out so extra point attempt up oh. it was blocked and it's blocked what a play I think it was Eric James right there that, that could um, turn out to be a, a big play absolutely there. so the extra point is missed and Dothan takes a 7-6 lead with 535 left in the first so Russell County Puts together a really long drive. It started down 37, and they take it in the end zone on a 24-yard TD pass to Pritchett. They missed the extra point, and um, Dothan holds on to a one-point lead. Dothan's last possession, they just kind of marched down the field. Three plays. 
touchdown. Yeah, and, you know, after your defense was on the field for a long time like they were, you want to probably come out here and have a long drive. But you definitely want to get some points on the board. The ball taken under 11. He's across the 30. Still on his feet. Well, near the 30, and he's going to be dropped at the 28-yard line. Not a bad return right there. And, and these numbers are a little hard to see the gray on the red from our distance. And I forgot my binoculars tonight. I said I was going to bring them, and I forgot them. So DHS will be starting on their own 28. First and 10. And a whistle. Boy. <laughs> He would have still been running. Yeah, I know. He had a great <laughs> block right there by the center. I mean, the center snapped the ball and immediately pancaked his man. And I'm uh, interested to see what the call is. Offside. Okay. Called against the Warriors. Too bad this isn't like the NFL and you could let the play play out and then, you know, have your choice of if you want to keep the play or take the penalty. First and five for the Tigers. Ball at the 33. Dossie back to pass. It was your run. Ooh. He was trying to connect with number 24 that time. And uh, do you have a 24 for Dothan? Number 24 for Dothan, um, Jaden Fulmer. Do you have a 24? I do. Not on my roster. Let's see, maybe I don't have an updated roster. Okay. 24. Going to bring up a second and five for the Tigers. They hand it off to Webb. And he might take this to the house. Yeah. He's got some speed. He's got one man to beat. Tries to shake him. And push Webb him. with another big run. He's having a great year. Credit the offensive line right there, too. They're creating holes for him. So the Tigers deep in Russell County territory. That was about a 40-yard-plus run. Yeah. He's going to have close to 100 yards already. So the ball's at the... Warriors 24-yard line. Man in motion. Quarterback keeps it and moves forward near the 15. That's Dawsey. No, he's young. He's only a sophomore. He's uh, done some nice things this year. I think he's going to have a great career for Dothan High. And Webb is only a junior, so they're going to have that tandem back again next year. Second and three. Pass across the middle. It's complete. Nice. And down to the one-yard line. And I tell you, that was just great composure right there by Dossie. He was staring down a blitz. Got rid of the ball quickly on a slant route. Now they're down to the one-yard line. And, man, knocking on the door here to score again. Did you get that number? I can't see it. Either. I did not. <laughs> we apologize to you. It's just hard. The gray on the red from this distance yeah. is just very difficult to see, when, especially when they're on the other side of the field. So we'll try to get that number and 
give credit to the receiver. Oh, Dothan moved. We'll see if they were drawn offside. Oh, false start. So it brings up a first and goal from the six yard line. Shotgun formation. Hand it off and up the middle for the touchdown is Webb. Yeah, and you know, Russell County did a good job right there containing the edge, but he just made a quick move, cut it back up the field, and went right up the middle and untouched into the end zone. Two quick touchdowns here in the first quarter for Webb. Yeah, so Dothan's two for two on possessions tonight. They score with 3.46 left in the first. Extra point up and right through there. So Dothan goes up 14 to 6 with 3.46 left in the first. So the Tigers are getting set to kick off after the touchdown. Two possessions, two touchdowns, 14 points. And he can't beat that. I don't know if this is an onside kick he's trying or what. No, man. I don't know if it went out of bounds or what. It's going to be close. Uh, they're going to say it's out of bounds. I see the flag now. Man, that was close right there. So it will be the Warriors ball. And they'll have good starting field position. That was a 72 yard drive by the Tigers. Yeah, I think that's the second time right there on a kickoff that Dothan High has gone for, like, that little pooch onside kick. But every time I went out of bounds, I had a good chance of recovering it. Russell County, great starting field position right at the 45-yard line. Villanueva hands off to Lockley around the outside. He's going to pick up about five yards on first down. And they seem to have found something that's working for them. Yeah, they got, like Dothan High, they got a lot of speed in the backfield, and they're utilizing it very well right now. Dothan's got to step it up defensively and try to get Russell County off the field. Second and five. Ball right at the 50-yard line. Texas and off, same way again. And uh, he's going to be stopped. Shout of the first down. And it brings up a third and two. Third and two from the 47. A big third down here for Dothan High, man. If they can get off the field right here, that'd be great. Because their offense is rolling. i tell you, uh, I have been impressed with uh, how Russell County has been able to move the ball. I agree. Quarterback keeper. Take it up the middle. He's going to have the first down and tripped up. I think that was number eight for Dothan High. Not sure, though. Number six, so that's going to be Eric James. So it's the first down for the Warriors inside the Tigers territory. The ball's at the 38-yard line. Mm -hmm. 
quarterback keeps it and he lunges forward for a couple of yards. That's a nice tackle there by Taryn McNeely. McNeely. That was a really nice play right there to hit him right at the line of scrimmage. Well, I guess he got two yards, but still. Well, it looks like one. So I think it's, yeah, it's going to be a second and nine. Dothan needs to get Russell County off the field. Oh. Nice play. Oh, nice move there by number one, too. Russell County is moving the chains. They are, and that was a nice play call and a nice pass there by DeAndre Hartwell. You know, on a little reverse and that looked a little bit like the play the uh, Eagles ran in the Super Bowl against the Patriots. So uh, a little trickery right there, and they're going to be inside the red zone now, knocking on the end zone. Ball at the 18-yard line of the Tigers. This drive started at the 45-yard line of Russell County. Quarterback keeps it, and he's going to be taken down from behind. couple of yards. That's Jamal Harris there on the tackle. Second and ten. Hockley up the middle. I'll tell you, he's been the workhorse. He has. He's having a nice game. And, and Dothan has not come up with an answer. First down. The ball inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. First and goal here for the Warriors. This drive started at the Russell County 45, and they have just gone down the field. First down, first down, first down, first down. So we've come to the end of one, and the score is the Dothan Tigers 14, the Russell County Warriors 6. We'll be back with more action after this timeout. You're watching the Cynic Sports Network. Welcome back to Ripley Stadium Wildfield where the Dothan Tigers are hosting the Warriors of Russell County. I'm Mick Kirk along with George Willard and George, uh, Russell County is moving the ball. They are, you know, both teams are having a lot of success on the ground and Russell County has just been marching along right here on this drive uh, behind the legs of Villanueva and Lockley and they're right here, you know, second and goal right now. The ball's inside the... 10 is spotted at the 6. Neither team has been able to stop the other team. We've seen a lot of offense, but not much defense. Right. Like the Big 12 teams out there. <laughs> yeah, this looks like it could be a high-scoring game. Now, uh, Delta need to step up here and make a stop. Second and goal. And... Get in, yeah. Touchdown. Nice second effort there by number six. That's Jerron Clark. So both teams are just marching up and down the field. I think Russell County is going to go for two here. Yeah, Russell County, uh, their first – 
extra point attempt was blocked by the Tigers, so they're going to try to go for two and tie the score. Actually, I don't think they gave him the touchdown. I think this is fourth down. Oh, yeah, yeah, they didn't. One official held up his hand. Yep, but that's a touchdown. Man. It didn't make any difference. Ford, and that was uh, number seven taking it in. No, I take that back. That was a two-point conversion. Two-point conversion, yeah, okay. Yeah, they were a little slow, okay. Two-point conversion is good, and we have a tie game at 14 apiece with 11-11 left in the first half. So Russell County puts together a 55-yard drive, capped off with a six-yard TD run by Clark and a two-point conversion to tie the score at 14 apiece. So we'll see what Dothan, how Dothan answers. So far, they have two possessions, two touchdowns. Ball is taken on the seven-yard line. Got a hole. Oh, man, it just tripped up right there. And that was number seven for the Tigers on the return, Sam Doss. So Delton will be starting on their own 27. First and 10, and we'll see if they go back to the legs of number one, Webb. I think you should. Haven't been able to stop him yet. Dossie either, really, for that matter. So, let's give it to him. Let the hungry dog eat. <laughs> eat him. That's right. And they give it to Webb again, and he cuts it outside. And he's going to be hit at the 35 at the gain of eight. Good first down play. Absolutely. You know, he's just slashing them right now and doing everything you want your running back to do. Second and two. For the Tigers. Cam Dawson, number four, is the quarterback. Webb, well, number one, in the backfield with him. Man in motion. Hands it off the web. He's up the middle. He's got some running room, and he runs over his own man. He's got one man to beat, and he just goes out of bounds after he picks up about um, 15, 20, 25 yards. Yeah, that was a nice play right there. And If he hadn't ran into his man, I think he might have had a chance to score. As we said earlier, we've seen a lot of offense and little or no defense. Yep. I don't think we've had a punt all night. No, we haven't. Both teams are two for two, um, you know, on scoring drives. So this is Dothan third possession of the half. Pass is complete. Nice move. Over to number ten, Deshaun Owens. So it's another Tiger first down. Dothan High showing a, a nice little balance right here. They've ran the ball a lot, so you can see why they continue to run. But Dossie's showing he can throw the ball efficiently, so I'll be pleased. That was a nice rollout by Dossie. That was. Hitting Owens. First and 10 from the 30 of the Warriors. Webb takes it up the middle and picks up about four. It's probably his shortest run of the night. <laughs> probably. <laughs> and it was still a good run. I mean, any time a running back can get four yards, you got to be pleased. Hey, four times three is 12. That's first down. That's right. Second and six. And I think... Dothan High is going to take a time out here. Oh, no, it's going to be a penalty. I didn't see a flag on the field. Yeah, it was against the Warriors. So it brings off sides, and it brings up a second and one.
So the Tigers are in the almost right at the edge of the mid zone. Dawsey keeps it, and it's enough for a first down. So the Tigers in the red zone for the third time tonight. Three possessions. It's a tackle by 53 of Russell County. And, and you know what? Probably will be, begin to be a factor in the second half. Most of the guys on Russell County go both ways, and fatigue will start setting in. And these long drives take a lot out of it. Absolutely. And, you know, that's why the running game is so key for Dothan High. They're doing a nice job of keeping their defense on the field. First and ten. Dawson thought about it. Oh. oh. He had a man open, but he couldn't quite connect with it. Flag on the field. I think that's a flag. Flag on the play. Yeah. We will see what the flag is and see which direction it goes in. I think it's against Dothan. It is. March off 10 yards. Well, the ball's back at the 30, first and 20. Holding on the Tigers brings it back to the 30 yards. It's a holding call against Dothan. First and 20. And they hand the ball off to Webb, and he's knocked out of bounds after a good game. He picks up uh, about seven. Well, actually 12. Yeah, that's a great gain on first down. Yeah, a 12-yard gain. So the Tigers are back in the red zone, second and eight. It's mostly been Dawsey and Webb tonight. Yeah, they're the centerpieces of their offense. And, and Dawsey nice cuts read. back, and he takes it inside the five, just shy of the goal line. He made a great read right there. He saw the defensive end collapse on the, on the uh, running back, and so he kept it himself, and, man, fought really hard right there to get in the end zone. It comes up a little short, but he's going to be on the one-yard line. So sets up a first and goal here. So we were talking about how Dawsey and uh, Webb have just uh, really dominate, dominated the uh, Dothan offense. They really have. And Webb just takes it in for the touchdown. Yeah, high snap, but that didn't that didn't phase him at all, and he was able to just corral it and get into the end zone. So three for three now for the Dothan High offense on scoring drives. Yep, and Webb has three, all three Dothan scores. There's an official timeout here, so I'm not sure why. That drive took two minutes and 58 seconds. It went uh, 73 yards. So 8.02 left in the first half. The score is Dothan 20 and Russell County, 14. Roll. So, Dothan goes for the extra point. That should be a penalty right there. And they, they well, he missed it. Barnett missed the extra point, so each team has missed an 
with uh, an extra point. So Dalton goes up 20 to 14. Looked like he was rough there. Uh, he was. The guy came right around the <laughs> right around the edge and knocked him to the ground. I mean, that's like the epitome of roughing the kicker. <laughs> so uh, with 8:02 left, Dothan leads it 20 to 14. So Dothan set for the kickoff. After they put together a 73-yard drive, capped off with a one-yard TD run by Webb, which was his third of the game. Ball's taken on the 30, so Russell County will have it, and Russell County has scored on all of their possessions. Dothan scored on all of their possessions, so we we can just uh, kind of look for another touchdown here. Or Dothan defensively need to step things up and get Russell County off the field. Absolutely. I mean, they've done great on first and second down and created some third and long situations and even a fourth down situation, but Russell County's just been able to capitalize, and uh, Dothan has just not done themselves any favors there. First and 10 from the 31. Quarterback keeps it, and he's tripped, and he goes down for a loss. So he loses two. So it's a second and 12 for the Warriors. McNeely and Ware on the tackles. Nice defensive play by them. Second and 12. Russell County wants a timeout with 7.23 left in the first half. They're trailing 20 to 14. Second and 12. And Dothan drops the quarterback for another loss. So they've got two negative plays. Yeah, that was a nice team sack right there. And you know, just goes back to what I said. They've done really good on first and second down. So here we have a third and long again for Dothan High, and it's a big spot. This is a good chance to get your defense off the field. So you just got to, you know, grind it out right here. And there was a penalty against Dothan. And that's going to shorten that first down yardage that they need. So that's a second and four. So I don't, I don't know. Did you see the I call on that? I didn't. Let's change the whole dynamic of this drive now. And it's going to be up close to the first down, about a yard short. Brings up a fourth and a yard. Thirty-one. So they're going to go for it at the 40-yard line. Why not? Yeah. I think it's just third down now, Mitt. Yeah, it is third yeah, down. Yeah. I meant third. I said fourth, but I meant third. I'm still trying to figure out what that penalty was. Ooh, man, blew him up. Boy, what a play. That was a huge play there. Huge. Yeah, number 32 right there for Dothan High is – Don McLeod, and, man, he just he just blew his man up, exploded into the backfield, and was just able to make a big play right there and force and, a fourth down. And number three was in on that one, too. That would be uh, Zamian Fulmer, then. So, Dothan finally stops. Well, we're not going to say. Are they going to go for it? I don't know. This would be a risky call if they did. Very risky. The fourth and six. And I'm a uh, – 
finding out that it was a hold on that penalty. That's why Dothan was uh, facing a second, or Russell County had a second and three. 5.59 left in the first half. Dothan 20, Russell County 14. So this will be the first punt of the game period. Not so fast, Mitt. <laughs> Could be a fake. <laughs> Could be a fake. The high snap, and he runs it. And he's going to be stopped. You're right. George, <laughs> you got it, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you've rubbed off on me. Sitting in the booth with you this year has uh, rubbed off on it. Okay. My lucky guest. <laughs> <laughs> Over on downs. That was a big play right there for Dover. It was. It was their first stop of the night. And we talked about how they really needed to make a stop. So Dothan has great starting field position. They're at the uh, Russell County 31. Yeah, they can take a two-possession lead right here. And they give it to their go-to guy, number one, Webb, and he just weaves and bobs his way down to the 15-yard line. A gain of about 17. I tell you, Webb, he's probably, what, what would you say, probably be at least 100. Oh, yeah, he's going to be close, more close to 150 yards. And he's got three touchdowns. I mean, he's having an amazing game right now. First and 10, the ball at the 15-yard line of the Warriors. I think fatigue is starting to set in on the Russell County defense. I do, too. They give it away up and fumble. He pitches it back to number seven for the Tigers, Sam Doss. And so the Tigers lose about five. The ball's back at the 20, and that's something they can't afford to do is turn the ball over. No, they've done a great job of protecting it, protecting it so far. And, you know, the way you've been dominating on offense, that's not what you need. Second and 15 for the Tigers. Well, fumbles it. Wow. I'm not sure who, if he came up with it, but I think he did. I think Dothan may need a timeout. <laughs> I do, <laughs> too. They, they look like they're coming in unglued. They fumbled the last two snaps, the you know, last two plays. Right. you got three timeouts. So you might as well take one and kind of get your composure here. It's a third and 13. Balls at the 18-yard line. Timeout, Dothan. Dothan called a timeout, and that's a good timeout. Yeah. They, they needed that one to sell the players down with 3.50 left in the first half. Dothan 20, Russell County 14. Third and 13 for the Tigers. And Dawson keeps it, and he gets inside the 15. But it's going to be short of the first down. He needed 13, and he got three. They're going to go for it here. This would be a big stop for Russell County. Yes, and it would. Tell you that penalty really hurt Dothan it and then those couple of fumbles yeah. really took away their rhythm. Two wasted downs. Back to the opposite side of the field that's dangerous. Intercept it. Oh, wow. Pretty happy he fell right there because he might have taken that to the house. Yeah, that was a lot of real estate in front of him. Yeah, so Dothan turns the ball over, so both teams failed the score on their last possession. So Dothan first turnover, interception. Deep in their own territory. You get down in the red zone, you need to get walk away with some points. Yeah, anytime you don't, man, that's tough. 
That's what good teams do. Anytime they get in the red zone, they score. And that's what you, I mean, that's just, just your goal every time. So Russell County will be starting on the their own 15-yard line. And they hand the ball off to number 21, and he's hit immediately. And he loses about five. So they're going to say he lost three, second and 13. We're down to 2.36 left in the first half. Dothan leads it 20 to 14. Dothan is one and two, and Russell County is 0 and three. Russell County hoping to get their first victory of the season, and Dothan's hoping to get their second victory of the season. No gain on the play. Nothing doing a nice job here. And there's Ezekiel Moore on the tackle, number 55. So um, another third and 10, or actually third and about 15 now. So third and long, Dothan's been getting, getting a lot. They just got to keep getting off the field. So Dothan needs to make a stop here. Going deep. Every Thursday night. And the pass is incomplete and uh, brings up a fourth down. Fourth and about 14. So Russell County will have to punt. Dothan committed their first turnover of the game on their last possession. Russell County got the ball on the 15 and they have been going in the opposite direction that they wanted to go in. Yeah. And that's thanks to the defense from Dothan. The defense has tightened up on the last two drives. I was going to say, they've kind of settled in here as the game has gone on. And, uh, you know, now they got Russell County deep in their own territory. And Dothan High should have really good field position to start their drive with a minute and a half left. Punt, a good high punt. The ball is taken at the 50, and he's got some running room and <laughs> a lot of running, but <laughs> no gain. He's yeah. going to actually started off at the 50 and ended up at the 48. And we have a Russell County player down. Yeah, so they're going to take a timeout here while they tend to hit. So with 1.15 left in the first half, the score is Dothan 20. Russell County, 14. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. First and 10 Tigers up offense if they want to try to put some more points on the board before the That could be their hurry up offense. Stop the clock. We'll try to get some stats at halftime if we can. We're not going to promise we have a hard enough time. I know, no, that's right. <laughs> must, must list stats. <laughs> First down. Web again. Web again. Nice move. Webb breaks a tackle. And another tackle and takes the ball down to the 20. That was about a 23-yard gain. Yep. I mean, he's just doing everything he can. He's doing really, really well tonight. 48 seconds left in the half. Dawsey. Oh, fumbled it. And a bad, and Dawsey couldn't hold on to it, so a loss of 
About five and another miscue by the Tigers. Yep. Dothan High is going to take a timeout here. So 39 seconds left in the half, 20 to 14, Dothan. Second and 14, Tigers. 39 seconds left. They got to do something in quick. And they give it to the go-to guys, number one. And that is Webb. And he takes it down to the 10. And that's enough for another Dothan first down with 26 and a half seconds left. Yep. I mean, you don't need to pass the ball. You can get chunks of yardage like that running it. First and goal. Webb and Dawsey have definitely dominated the Dothan offense. They give it Webb, and he's hit almost the same time he received the ball. And it's a loss back to the 15. Dothan Do take. Yeah, Dothan takes a timeout, and they have one left with 19 seconds left in the half. Second and goal from the 15. Dawson drops back to pass and he runs and uh, he didn't get a first down. So Dawson's got to do something quick. Yeah. Eight seconds, six, five, four, three, two. And they spike it with 1.4 seconds left. I guess they're going to try to go for the field goal. Yeah, I think you should here. You're in the center of the field, so it should be a chip shot for your kicker. Not, they didn't do a very good job of managing that no, possession. They didn't. I mean, they had 12 seconds left right there, and that fumble really hurt them. You know, they had to burn a timeout on that, you know, wasted a play. So um, they just – that, that's really what kind of hurt their drive. This will be a 31-yard attempt. Up and good. So that they managed to get some points out of that. That was Walden with the kick and the field. Number 35, excuse me, 35. Oh, boy, George, do you see 35, the kicker? Bernard, yep. Justin Barnard. Yep, Justin Barnard. So, Dothan kicks a 31-yard field goal with a minute, with a second left to go up 23-14. to 14. We'll have halftime activities after this timeout. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Welcome back to Ripley Stadium Wild Field tonight where the Dothan Tigers are hosting the Warriors of Russell County. I'm Mick Kirk along with George Willock. And George, uh, your thoughts on the first half? Hey, I'll tell you, it was a, uh, overloaded with offense, that's for sure. Both teams were running the ball great, and uh, both defenses were having a hard time stopping it. And that's why the score now is 23-14. to 14 and, um, You know, I'm, I'm anxious to see what's going to take place here in the second half, what kind of adjustments were made. So both teams on their first possession, Northview, uh, Dothan scored on their first three possessions before turning the ball over, and Russell County scored on their first two possessions. Yes, yeah. Dothan's uh, defense kind of found their groove late in the first half, so, um, you know, I'm wondering if that's going to carry over here in the second half. And they, you know, produce a turnover on downs, which is just like a fumble or an interception. So Russell County starts deep in their own territory, their own 15-yard line. But Russell County did a good job in the first half, uh, first couple of possessions moving the ball. And they come out the second half with and rips off about five yards, six yards on the first down. 
Yeah, it was number 15, Jalen Mitchell on the carry. So, typically that might be his first carry of the game. We've seen a heavy dose of Lockie and Villanueva. Actually, that was a gain of about eight, second and two. And we talked about Russell County having a very small roster. And, and if the defense stay out there, you know, these guys are going both ways, a right. lot of them. And it can well when you're late in the game. Sure can. Nice play right there by the Dothan High defense. Stopped him at the line of scrimmage. So it's going to be about a third and two here. We have a player down, a little slow getting up. But he gets up. I don't know if I don't know if he'll leave the game. No, it looks like he's gonna stay in. And the officials have huddled all the players up to talk to them. Must be get getting chippy down there. Yeah, probably so. And just keep your composure. Both teams need to do do their good sportsmanship is what sports is all about. That's right. George. I mean you want you know, a competitive attitude for sure, but you don't want to cross the line, you know. And we saw a play in a, uh, another game where a player got an unsportsmanlike uh penalty which helped the other team and it was the difference in the score of that game. You're right. So you don't want to do anything to hurt your team. And that dive forward, it's maybe enough for a first down, if not very close. Depending on the spot. Yeah, I'm not sure what the far yeah. side official said. I think yeah. it is going to be first yeah, down. Yeah, first down. First and ten for the Warriors. Who are... Uh, are without a win this year, and Dothan has one win. Lockie on the outside. Nice play there by the Dothan defense to stop him at the line of scrimmage. He had a good head of steam, but uh, the Tigers did a good job of slowing him down and stopping him. And uh, matter of fact, he looked like he may have lost a half yard or so. But we'll call it second and ten. This drive started on the Russell County 15-yard line. Quarterback drops back, and he's going to take off, and he's tripped up nice at tackle. the line of scrimmage. Very nice tackle there. Trying to see who, what number that is. I think it's number six, which would be Eric Reed. Or, I'm sorry, Eric James. So. Brings up a third and ten. 9-18 left in the third. This is the opening drive of the third period. They're trying to draw Dothan offside. Oh, boy. Almost intercepted. And that would have been a pick six. So Dothan holds Russell County on their first possession of the second half. They'll have to punt. They were able to get one first down, but that was it. A nice stand there by the Dothan defense. And their last three uh, defensive stands have been good. The first couple, first three weren't very good. But they've stiffened up, and now they are playing defense like they should be. Back deep for Dothan is number six, Eric James. Good high kick. Uh, and it takes a Dothan roll up just across the 45-yard line. Dothan had a good drive going their last possession and had to sell for a field goal after a couple of miscues on handling the ball. 
that got him behind the chain. First and 10 at the 45. And we'll see if they go back to that one-two guy, the one-two punch, Dawsey and Webb. I don't know why you want to change it up right now. There's Webb again. He had about 200 yards rushing in the first quarter, or first half, rather. He got about six or seven yards there. A little slow to get up out of bounds. So a good first down play for the Tigers. Second and five. Dawsey pitches it to James, meant to Webb. Oh, nice Webb's got some running room, and he's met and stopped, hit hard at the 35 after he picks up 20 yards, about 15 yards. That was a nice play right there. Yeah, Webb's having a very nice game. He is. I think he may have been – Shaking up on that play. He's moving a little slow. He is. He's limping a little bit, but it looks like he's going to stay in the game. So, Russell County is going to take a timeout here. Yeah, so 8-16 left in the third. The score is Dothan 23, Russell County 14. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. First and 10, the ball at the... 35-yard line of the Warriors. Ooh, Dawson managed to hold on to that one. Yeah, he did. And it could have been a disaster, but he makes something out of it. Picks up five, brings up a second and a flag. Uh, brings up a second and five, but we'll see what the flag is. A late flag there. Wonder if he got a late hit. Dossie's down there. Yeah, he is. That's not good. No, it's not. That oh, was just sideline warning, so. He bounces up. He's limping a little bit, but he kind of bounced up like the Energizer Bunny, but he's going to have to go out for a play. Yeah. yeah. Trying to see who's in to replace him. At QB. I think it's Eric James. Looks like it. For number four, can't, is it six or four? Can you see? Number four, four is Dossie, and uh, six is six. Eric James. Yeah, they, James. Yeah, he's that quarterback right now, so. James normally a wide receiver. Oh, actually, Webb was the quarterback. Ball is taken inside the 30. A nice little run right there by Eric James. It's a gain of a couple. Dossie's still on the sideline, so. Third and three. What, uh, Dothan can't afford to lose Dossie. No, they can't. Good cut back to the middle and move down to the 20 yard line. So James will come out and Webb will come back in. And actually, folks, I'm sorry, number seven has taken over a quarterback who is Sam Doss. Okay, that was number six leaving the game. Yeah, Eric James. Right, he was playing running back. So I guess uh, Coach White decided to take Webb and Dossie out since both of them were kind of shaken up on this drive, but now we see Webb come back in the game. We're down to 6.53 left in the third. The Tigers leading the Warriors 23-14. to 14. Center man in motion, hand off to Webb. And Webb just continues to rack up yards. 
Ball down to the 15. Second and four. This third is moving pretty quick. Yes, it is. You know, we're almost halfway through the quarter. A fumble snap, but he holds on to it and takes off, and he's going to be hit at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, good up and field tackle there. So it's a third and four. Officials timeout with six minutes left in the third. The score is 23, Dothan 14, Russell County. Third and four for the Tigers. Dawson looks to the sideline for the signal. And there Webb goes again, and he gets another first down. There's a high offensive lineman need to be careful there. Oh, man, somebody's down. I think it's Webb. Again? Yeah. Ryan, can you zoom in and let's try to get the number of the player down? Yes, it is Webb. He's hopping again, so. He's gonna be going to the sideline. They may need to give Webb a break here. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to get him hurt. He's had a great game and you'd like to keep him in there, but it's not worth risking getting him hurt, that's for sure. So it's first. First and goal from the 10. It's been a interesting night tonight. Yeah, it has. A lot of offense. Yep. And Dothan still hasn't been able to pull away and actually, you know, take a commanding lead. It's a two-possession game right now, but Russell County is definitely not out of it. James right there. James takes it inside the five. So the Tigers will have second and goal. heavy package here for Dothan High. Brought in some big youngins. Oh, yeah. Some Waffle Houses. <laughs> yeah. As Jimbo Lofton would say. <laughs> Down to the one. He says smothered, covered, and chunked. slides and diced and, and what? And chunked. <laughs> and chunked. We miss our good buddy Jimbo. If you're out there watching, hello, my buddy. <laughs> Glad to have you along. We really appreciate all the years that Jimbo worked with us on the broadcast. Yeah, hopefully he'll make a special appearance here in the future. He's somewhere jet setting. Oh, yeah, for sure. Touchdown. It's going to be close. Yep, touchdown. Touchdown, Tigers. Wow, he's a little slow getting up. Boy. Dossie and Webb have been nicked up here in the last, during this drive. And Webb's just, or Dossie's just laying there right now, so that's not good to see. Yeah, they have been down a couple of times. Yeah. 
So uh, 403 left in the third. It's 29 to 14, Dothan. Here's the extra point attempt after the touchdown run by Dalsey. Barnard up. And it squeak. goes through. Yeah, squeaked on in there. <laughs> yep. So the score is Dothan 30 and Russell County 14. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. So Dothan puts together a 55-yard drive. It took him four minutes and 41 seconds to get into the end zone. Yeah, they've been able to run the ball pretty efi efficiently this quarter and uh, shown that they have other running backs. Eric James switches over from wide receiver to play running back, and he had a couple nice runs for him. So. Ball's taken on the 25, out across the 30, and a good return to near midfield. There's a kicker there, though, stopping him on that, on that uh, return. That was a Barnard. He he liked that hit. He's, oh yeah, he's running out there clapping. Yeah. Hey, I got a piece of piece of this action. That's right. The kicker doesn't normally get in on the tackle, so you know, anytime that happens, you got to get fired up. Hey, and you don't want the kicker to have to get You're in right. on the action if you want to know the truth. You are right. Uh, so I got ten other guys on the field with him. So Russell County will be starting in great field position. They're on forty nine. 3.55 left in the third. Handoff and some running room to number 21. He gets up near the 45. Picks up about six yards there. A good first down play for the Warriors. The last two drives, they haven't been able to do much, but the first couple of drives of the game. They moved the ball very well. They have. Second and five. Got a gain of probably one. It'll bring up a third and four. Yeah, that was lucky there on the handoff. And, uh, you know, Dothan High has done a good job since – you know, the first quarter to really stifle Villanueva and Lockie. They were they're going off for some pretty big chunk of yards in the first quarter, but Dothan's contained them pretty well since. Third and four. Number twenty one takes it. And he's gonna Move forward and get the first down. That was Jackson on the run for Russell County. Eric James on the tackle, so doing a little bit of everything. Getting some tackles, getting some rushes. First and ten, the ball at the 37-yard line of the Tigers. 2.25 left in the third. Dothan leads it. 30 to 14. But the uh, Warriors are on the move. Hand off, nothing there. Good job on first down. Brings up uh, a gain of one, second and nine. Under two minutes left in the third. We'll see what Russell County can do. False start. So the false start will back the Warriors up five yards. Yep, 
so that's another false start. So that's big there for Dothan High defense. So it will be second and 14. For the Warriors, we're just trying to get something working. Oh, and right there. Yeah, and, and good yards that time. Well, we have a flag. Is that a flag or a shoe? Oh, a shoe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a shoe went flying, and uh, we have a player down. So it's a third and eight. It's number 61. And like I say, we don't have an accurate roster. Third and eight. Ball sitting on the 35 yard line of the Tigers. Under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Lockie to the outside. He'll be gobbled up. That's number 45 for the Tigers on the stop. 45 is. Uh, Harris. Fourth down, and the Warriors are going to go for it. He said, why not? Yeah, exactly. We don't have anything to lose but the game. So. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey. Play to win. We got a new quarterback in, number three. And, boy, he's Ooh, hit. Oh, boy, he got smoked. Yes. It's almost completed. He had a lot of pressure on him, but he did. the receiver couldn't pull it in. So, I'm trying to see who that was right there. Following that number is number, seven, number eight. And that would be this is Ezekiel Moore. So DHS takes over with five seconds left in the third. They're up thirty to fourteen. We'll see if they uh, okay. It's, I'm trying to see who's back in the game for the Tigers. Looks like Doss. And off and for for about a yard. And that's number 28 for Dothan High on the carry. Or maybe he's 26. He's got long hair, so I'm having a hard time seeing. <laughs> I can't tell either, George. And when they bend over the Numbers kind of pulled together. over. Yeah, it's number 26, and that was uh, Catavius Reed. Reeves. Oh, okay, so we've come to the end of three, and the score is the Tigers of Dothan 30, the Warriors of Russell County 14. We'll be back with the fourth quarter of action after this time out. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Dothan High here on a third short. Reeves with a carry with a nice, nice move to get uh, get the first down here. Dothan High rolling here to start off the fourth quarter. 11-13 left to go and have a chance to put this game out of reach and get an area win. Great game tonight by Tredavious Webb and Dossie. Um, I think both of them are probably done for the night. They don't have a little bit of injury problems in the third quarter. So I think the coach has just decided to leave them sit for the night. It's probably a smart move. And Doss takes it to the outside and picks up two yards there on first down. 
So it's going to be second and eight here for Dothan High. Eric James entering the game for Reeves. So second and eight. Doss takes the snap, hands it off to James. James makes one man miss in the backfield, fighting for more yardage. Keeps the feet churning, and I think he's going to pick up one yard there. So he's going to bring up probably, a, it looks like a third and seven. And Russell County just looks like they are gassed right now. Yeah, and we talked about, you know, them having such a small roster and a lot of these players having to go both ways. And, you know, a game that's a running game takes a lot out of you. It does. That's it takes so much time. Eric James is going to pick up close. Yep, he's going to probably pick up the first down here. A nice run. And we have another player down. I think part of it's the heat and just being out there so much. Yeah, I agree, Mitt. You know, fatigue and it is hot down there. So, you know, when your body starts getting dehydrated like that, you're more susceptible to injuries and cramping up. So, 9.24 left and the fourth is 30-14 Dothan. First down and... The Tigers pick up a couple of yards and a flag. I saw a little mixing it up there. Yeah. You know, they're not going to play that now. They gathered them together at the beginning of the half, you know, had to talk right. to both teams. So that right there is just going to get them a personal foul. Right. And that's going to be on the Tigers. And it was way away from the ball. It was. It has, had nothing to do with the play. You want to get on a coach's bad side, that's how to do it right there. Yep. see number 52 enter the game for that player that picked up the right. penalty, So It was uh, on both sides, so it offset penalties, so they replay the down. Tell you, Dothan, our band sounds good. They do. They really they, do. They had me up here doing a little shaking. Yeah. <laughs> Bust a move up here in the box. <laughs> I'm glad y'all can't see <laughs> I wouldn't want y'all to just laugh at my moves. I thought Doss kept it there. Wow. And he was able, but he's going in the wrong direction. Yep. And he keeps going in the wrong say, direction. I was going to say, James, just go down. Yep. And that was a big loss. That was a loss of about nine. That brings up a third and 19. So we might be able to see what uh, Doss's passing ability is like here. Sometimes you just take the loss. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But then, you know, there have been times when you see a player look like they're going to be thrown for a loss and break a big play and pick up a first down, but that was not the case. Doss rolls out. Has a man open in the flats, but can't hang on to it. And I don't think that was going to pick up the first down anyway. So. Uh, I think you're right. So Dothan will have to punt. And I believe this is Dothan's first punt of the game. Yeah, this is a new punter in. Boy, he put some height on that one. Yeah, he did. And uh, the ball is down at the 33. So Russell County will take over. 
at their own 33 yard line. With 7.47 left. We'll see if Dothan defense can get them a three out, three and out, and try to get some more points on the board. Lucky with the handoff. He's going to be stifled right there at the line. Number four tackles in on that tackle. Dothan Ware look like he may have been cramping just a little bit. He's holding the back of his thighs. I'm trying to tough it out though. I don't blame him. You know, you never want to come off the field. And that was a good open field tackle that time by number 32 of the Tigers, Don McLeod. Third and eight. We're down to 6.42. George, uh, what's your impressions of the Tigers tonight? No, I mean, they've been They've been really good on offense, very efficient running the ball. And, uh, you know, their defense has stepped up and got, gotten stops. You know, early on in the game, they were having a hard time slowing Russell County down. But later in the game, and they've really stepped up on third and fourth down. So I think they've just had a really balanced attack, been pretty complete on both sides of the ball tonight. So it's the first down for the Warriors. They move the ball up to the 46. Seven yard line. First and ten. Under six minutes left. Time out on the field with five fifty six left in the fourth. Thirty to fourteen. Dalton leads. First and ten. Quarterback keeps it, and he gets away from a couple of Dothan defenders, but he doesn't get very much. No, they swallowed him up right there, and like you said, he did a good job of making some guys miss and building a wave of shifty, but credit the Dothan high defense right there to just swarm the ball and keep him from breaking a big one. He was able to get a yard, second and nine. Ball at the 48-yard line of the Warriors. And uh, we want to thank our sponsors of these games, Miss Carolyn Smith at Lewis Smith Supply, Browns One Drugs and Enterprise, and Trinity Bank, Dothan and Enterprise. Let them know that you appreciate them sponsoring these games because without our sponsors, we couldn't bring these games to you. I was going to say, we definitely appreciate them. And if you would like to be a sponsor of the high school football uh, games, give us a call at Scenic. Our number is 334-793-2722. And tell them that you're interested in uh, being a sponsor of high school football in this area. We cover about nine different schools during the year. We cover Dothan, Northview, Houston Academy, Providence. We also cover uh, Dale County, Delville, Ashford, Ashford yeah, right. and Rehoboth. Yep, that's right. So we cover quite a few schools in the area, and we would really love to have you to be a part of it. Football and basketball. Right. Fourth down. Fourth and eight. We're down to 420 left in the game. So 
Russell County will be punting, and it's a high snap. But he gets off a good punt. It's taken at the 10. Gets across the 20, and boy, there was a hit. And he's still on his feet out to the 42-yard line, the 32-yard return. But there's going to be an unnecessary rough this fight there. No, you know, actually what it is, Mitt, is he laid a lick on him, and then he jawed at him, you know, letting him know that he did that. Right, so, right. you know, it was the extracurricular activity right there that's going to give him the 15-yard penalty. Yeah, and uh, it was pretty obvious. Yeah, I mean, you know, you get always excited when you lay a lick like that, but you don't have to rub it in the guy's face. And right. Now you're going to cost your team 15 yards. Right, and we talk about sportsmanship right. all the time. And, uh, and you know the word sports. And you add the word manship. That means uh, sportsmanship, being a good sport about things. And uh, we have a player down for Russell County. Four oh five left in the fourth. I'll just recap the scoring. Dothan scored on their first drive of the game on a 20-yard TD run by Webb to make it 7-0. Russell County came right back on a 24-yard TD pass to Pritchett, and they missed the extra point to make it 7-6 Dothan. Dothan scored again on a four-yard touchdown run by Webb. It was a cap off a 72-yard drive with 346 left in the first to make it 14-6. And that was the score at the end of the first. Russell County came out with 11-11 left in the second on a 16, uh, six-yard TD run by Clark in the two-point conversion. The Tigers scored 14 apiece. Dothan scored again with 258 left in the second on a one-yard run by Webb. He missed the extra point. Dothan led 20-14. to Dothan scored again with 115 left in the half on a 31-yard field goal by Barnard to make it 23-14. In the third, Dothan scored again with 403 left in the third on a two-yard TD run by Darcy. That was a 55-yard drive, which took four minutes and 41 seconds, and Dothan took a 30-14 lead, and that's where we stand right now with 405 left in the fourth nothing there reeves getting some good looks tonight though And we talked about uh, Dothan. The, the last couple of seasons, they've had real good speed to the outside of Pennsylvania. They really have. And, um, you know, a few years ago they had Tyson Jackson, who was really a staple point for their – Tyson Williams. Or Tyson Williams, I'm sorry. And, um, anyway, he was a staple point for their offense. But after he left, you know, they didn't really miss a beat. They had a lot of speed there and was able to get to the outside and do good things. And uh, just uh, speaking of that, you know, uh, Tyson Williams playing with Nevada along with Malik Reed. That's right. You know, both of them played with uh, Dothan High. Yep. And then you have a uh, couple of other players playing around the league. You have Dennis Tillman, uh, not Dennis, uh, Caleb. Caleb yep. Tillman plays with Louisville. His father, Dennis, though, I hear was a good football player in his time. Yeah. And his mom, Carolyn, used to always say, you make sure you call my son's name. <laughs> <laughs> he made sure we did. He, played, he made plenty of plays. Yes. So the Tigers get the ball out near midfield. Maybe just across the field. We'll see where the spot is. Now they're about a yard short from the first down. Wonder if they're going to go for it here. The 
you know, many of these players that you see on all the teams around here, you know, Dale County uh, has had a, a couple of players that have gone on to play other places. Enterprise yep. uh, has a player that plays with Troy. Well, and Dale County's got a player that plays with Troy, Jamarius Henderson. Henderson, yeah. He's one of the and most electric high school players we've had in this area in a long time. And the Enterprise, uh, what's his name, Jones? Yeah. He was a uh, he was freshman uh, all uh, Sun Belt last year. Right, and they're expecting him to be uh, possibly uh, all American this year. Yep. So you know there are some good football players that come from the Wiregrass area. They really are. Uh, from Ufala over to Enterprise, Dothan, Daleville. Northview's got a kid playing a tour right now too. A punt and is high, and it takes a Dothan roll that was down to the punt. 20 yard line. But you know, we encourage to come out, encourage you to come out and support your local high school games, and uh, support you, support these kids. They're out there working hard, you know, at games and practice, and the coaches too. So. Come out and show your support. Well, it's just, you know, supporting your community. You know, on Saturdays we all support our college teams. You know, some of us support our pro teams on Sunday, so why not support your community teams on Friday night? You know, we have a lot of talent in this area, and uh, you should treat yourself to come out and watch these kids, you know, because sometimes there's, there's some that get drafted. You know, we were just talking earlier during halftime, Marquez White, you know, he uh, he was drafted by the Cowboys and everything, and he played out here on this field. So um, there's just a lot of talent here in this community. Right, and, and we've seen uh, some of them go in and play. Uh, Northview had a couple of players to, to, to play in the pros. Uh, yep. Lawrence Dawsey had a, a career at Florida State, then moved and played with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Right. And his son's actually the quarterback for this team, so <laughs> small world. Yeah, I was going to say we had Dawsey, and, you know, Larry Brackens was another Dothan High great. Or, you know, Dawsey went Northview, but Brackens was a Dothan High great. Right. Two sport athlete. He was – Actually drafted into the NFL out of junior college, which is pretty amazing. Shows you how his athletic ability was. Right. And he's had a stellar career in the Arena League. Yeah, he's, he's one of the all-time best players in the Arena League. Absolutely. And Larry Roberts, who played with Northview, uh, had a couple of Super Bowl rings with the San Francisco 49ers. Yep. And sadly, he passed away recently. But yeah, folks, you should definitely get out here and, you know, treat yourself and uh, help these programs out, too. You know, your your admissions go to the band and, you know, the athletic programs and everything, as does the concessions. And, you know, um, sometimes there's not always a lot of funding for athletics, so every little bit helps. We're down to one minute left. Second and six. For the Warriors, I tell you what, the thing I like about Russell County, these guys, you know, they're at a disadvantage, but you know what? They're fighters. Yeah, they are. They are. They have come out and they played very hard, and they competed. They really did. I mean, you know, this was a close game up until about, you know, the last couple minutes of the third quarter, and um, you got to give it to them. You know, they fought all the way, and uh, sometimes, you know, that's just how the ball, the ball falls. You just don't always win them all. That should be close to a first down, if not a first down. Third and one. And uh, that might have been the last play of the game. There's only 20 seconds left, so. They may try to get one more in before the end of the game. Nine seconds, seven, six, five, four. Three and they're gonna go for it and hey they don't just give it up they say hey we're gonna play to the very end of the game so we've right. come to the end of the game and the Dothan Tigers 
get their second victory of the season, winning over Russell County 30 to 14. And they go two and two. Dothan goes two and two. And Russell County goes 0, 0 and four. So uh, we want to thank our cameraman tonight, Brian Nyman, and his assistant, Sharon, for helping us out tonight. <laughs> Hello, Sharon. Sharon, wait, wait, <laughs> wait. Okay. <laughs> and and uh, George Willett, we always appreciate him helping us out. This is Mick Kirkland saying thanks for watching the Scenic Sports Network. You've been watching High School Football Game Night, presented by Scenic Cable Network and Productions. Join us again next time.